sure that's what every murderer says. But I was half crazy. I hated him so much. Then what happened? Um, I, I started to panic. I, I knew we had the video cassette somewhere, so I, I reached down to get the briefcase. That's when the heel broke off my shoe, and I was going to try and get it, and I heard a car pull up. So I had to run behind a storage shed to hide. Someone with a raincoat got out of the car and ran toward the shed. I know now it was Craig Montgomery. I, I didn't know then. Anyway, I, I knew I would never get a cab in all the rain, so... So I was going to walk all the way back to Tad's hotel. <sighs> then a, a pickup truck pulled into the site. So I crawled into the front seat of Craig's car. <laughs> and it, it was only then I, I realized I still had the crowbar in my hand. So I, I saw the trunk release buttons. And I got out and put the crowbar under a, under a blanket in the trunk. And then... Then I heard someone coming, so I ducked behind some equipment, and Craig comes running out. And I realized I left the briefcase in his car. He must have seen it. Something, something in the back seat. What? I don't know. I don't know. He, he left again. And, and so I ran and got the briefcase and ran like hell. Then what? I, um, I walked all the way back to Tad's hotel. Trying to believe you right act. and threw it in the river, too. That's it. <laughs> Can I ask you something? How did you know? How did you know I did it? Well, you were wrong about the, uh, about the briefcase that wasn't empty. But I looked at it with it. No, there was a piece of paper in there with some numbers on it, and, uh, Margo found out yesterday that those numbers were from a catalog for, uh, video cassettes. Oh, God. You didn't see them, did you? The films?
up. It's okay. In a, in a crazy way, I'm glad it's over. Don't touch me. I'm dying. <laughs> the good Lord. I never thought I'd see this place again. Why do you keep insisting that Duncan was sincerely worried about me? I am not sure that he is not the man behind this kidnapping. No, no. If you'd seen his face when he heard that you were safe, you'd know he wasn't involved. Besides, I told you the kidnapping was in retaliation for a series of articles I've been writing about the drug ring. Well, I, I don't know, Brian. I'd put Angela right up there in the shrunken head category. It just seemed like something that Duncan would do. I totally agree. I mean, Angelo and Cheney were about the most inept kidnappers you could ever want to find. Talk about the gang of couldn't shoot straight. Oh, Let's talk about something else. You know, I cannot wait to get back to Oakdale. What if I, what if I call up and make reservations for three seats on the first available flight? No, nope, make it two. I am staying right where I am. After everything we have been through, Harriet, I have withstood voodoo in the Dominican Republic, kidnapping in Las Vegas, Angela's weird mother, Blondie. I am getting this divorce once and for all. You know something? What? I hear that the moonlight in the desert is very romantic. Oh. Why don't I stay here until you get through the divorce, all right? Oh, I do I think it can be arranged. Oh, great! <laughs> I am home, Jane, because I want to be with Lily before the party. But call me if you need me. Bye-bye. Hi, darling. Mm. I picked up the dress. I've got the dress. You know, I thought Barbara might have made a mistake, but now that I look at you, I think this is going to be... What's the matter, honey? Sad eyes, sad eyes. Well, I'm worried about Iva. I mean, you saw how weird she was acting at the hospital. And Holden's even more worried about it than I am. Holden is? Where did you see Holden? At the construction shack. <laughs> Dusty? No, Lily, it's Ambrose. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Is your mother there? Yeah, hold on a second. It's Ambrose. Ambrose, I cannot talk to you because Lily doesn't like me talking business and she's expecting a call. There's been a break in the Channing case. I just talked to my uh, uh, contact in the commissioner's office. Are you sitting down? No. What is it? The police have a full confession from none other than Ivor Snyder. What? Are you sh I mean... The mind boggles, Ambrose. I'm having trouble programming that. Are you sure? I confirmed it before I called you. Wow. Um... This really does take getting used to this. Okay. Okay, all right. I guess I better pull myself together and get down to the newspaper. Um, what does this mean in, in terms of Craig? They released him immediately. <sighs> wow, okay. All right. Well, call me with news of any kind, either here or at the City Times. Bye-bye, Ambrose. Mother, what's this news about Craig? He's been released. <laughs>